COVID cases are on the rise across the country with 24 states reporting an increase in hospitalizations. Some new technology could add another layer of protection against the next pandemic. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook takes a look in our series, American Innovation. So you plug it into the wall and trim. Researchers like Don Milton are exploring a new way of using ultraviolet light to make indoor air safer. It's been known for 80 years or so that ultraviolet light can kill bacteria and inactivate viruses in the air so that they're no longer infectious. Conventional UVC light has been used extensively in places like hospitals, homeless shelters, and prisons. But that conventional UV light can harm the skin and eyes, so should not be shined directly at people. A shorter wavelength called far UVC can't get past the top layers of the skin or the tear layer of the cornea. Behind me over here is one of these new fixtures. Uh, this is a portable version that was developed uh, actually initially for the Pentagon. Milton envisions using devices like that or ones mounted in ceilings and pointed downwards. We could be putting these into places where people gather and reducing the ability of the virus to transmit in these congregate settings. They're already being used in some restaurants, airports, and buses. The CDC told CBS News that recent research on far UVC has been promising, but more research is needed. The FDA says long-term safety data is lacking. Do you think it's ready for prime time right now, or does further work need to be done first? I'm a scientist, and there's always another question I want to answer. But I think the risks are minimal, and the uh, advantages of this technology are huge. Uh, and so we need to begin using it some more. Promising technology for this and future pandemics. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.